Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another Sunday video. Today, my friends, is a very special Sunday because I'm finally gonna be testing an RTX 30 series GPU. Yes, my friends, it's finally happening. <laughs> this is the RTX 3060 Ti. A very, very good price performance GPU, in my opinion, if only it was at MSRP, of course. <laughs> Fortunately, Nvidia actually sent me this GPU. Yes, I, I still don't believe it actually. <laughs> it's the first time that a company has ever sent me anything to be honest, but I will review it just like I would any other card that I bought so far. So let's get to the specs and I'm gonna show you the unboxing experience of this card. So this Ampere GPU is based on the 8 nanometer process from Samsung. It has 4864 CUDA cores and it's actually a cut down version of the RTX 3070. It still has the 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM, a 256-bit memory buzz, a memory bandwidth of 448 gigabytes per second, and of course it supports ray tracing, DirectX 12 Ultimate, Vulkan, all of the good stuff, DLSS as well, which is kind of great from what I tested so far. It consumes 200 watts of power. Oh, and I almost forgot the most important thing of all. Does it play music? Not bad NVIDIA! Let's install this beauty in the system and see how it plays some games, shall we? And here we go, GeForce RTX 3060 Ti showing up there in MSI Afterburner. You can check all of its specs right here. And as usual, we're running it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM. And first up, we got Apex Legends. We're playing this one at 1440p using high settings, as you can see. And I think that this GPU is pretty damn good for 1440p gaming. As you can see, even looking at the entire map, which is really demanding in this game, we're getting well above 100 FPS. And down here, look at those frames, guys. Oh my goodness. I've never seen Apex Legends running so well. Come on, mate. No, I need my... I kind of need my ultimate right now. That would be handy. Uh, wait a second. Okay, okay. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> How did I avoid that? Where are they? FPS inside of the smoke, by the way, dropping to the uh, low 100s, which is still pretty damn good, of course. There he is. Oh, come on, come on, not even with a wall hex crisp. Come on, mate. We gotta get them kills. Oh, there's one right here. Two of them. Um, hello, guys. How's it going? <laughs> one down and... Oh, come on, 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 no, 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 no. All right, buddy, please help, please help, okay. Okay, got them all, nice, we made it. It's time to send this out. All right, dropping into the 70s, <laughs> that's a massive drop. Okay, they're fighting somebody else, I might be able to get them from behind. There's one. Okay, got him. Uh, let's see, there's another one. Uh oh, missed everything there. Okay. Gosh, the laser is not working today, my friends. <laughs> okay, this is pretty close. Uh, three squads left. They're fighting each other down there. So we, we got the upper ground. I'm not sure why he's, he's going. So far, it's, it's performed like a dream, guys. It's just, it's, it's really good. Why are you going, buddy? Oh, wait. He actually got him. <laughs> okay, nice. That's the last one, guys. That's the last one. Okay, 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 okay. Let's be careful. I, I think it's only one of them. There we go, champions! <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got Red Dead Redemption 2. We're playing at 2560 by 1440 resolution once again using the Ultra Settings preset. I just pushed this slider to the right there and enabled DLSS. And I also disabled the motion blur because, well, it's it's motion blur. You shouldn't, you just shouldn't, okay? All right, guys, this is amazing. It's looking really good. I can tell, like, in some trees, especially at the distance, that the DLSS is not really 
really that amazing, the implementation in this game, but it doesn't bother me too much and I will take the extra FPS boost. It still looks amazing, guys. Look at this. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah, you can see there in that window. That looks pretty weird, actually. Uh, I'll have to do another video on the LSS performance and also utilizing other settings like the hardware and boxed optimized settings, just like I did with the GTX 1080 Ti. Wow, what an experience here in Red Dead Redemption 2. 90 frames per second around that. <laughs> Dropping down into the 60s right now, so it might drop into the 50s at times in more intensive areas. Granted, this isn't like the easiest area to run in the entire map, but it's also not the most demanding one. Oh, there we go, 58, 59. Okay, that's uh, that's still pretty playable for a single-player title, in my opinion. So this is slightly more intensive over here. It's dropping into the high 50s. Again, guys, it's a very consistent experience, very smooth one as well. Calm down, Roach, it's just a crocodile, it's a virtual crocodile, you don't need to be afraid, okay? I just want to know if that's a bear. Roach, get out of the water, why are you trying to kill yourself, please? Oh boy, yes, that is a bear, will it attack me? No, of course not, because everybody loves Roach, Roach, don't leave me here! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my, what the hell? That actually scared me. <laughs> We're playing Call of Duty Warzone right now. Unfortunately, the on-screen display doesn't show up in this game anymore. We're playing, of course, using the 1440p resolution, uh, ultra settings, basically, and no ray tracing. And we're using the LSS, of course, on the quality setting. All right, this is really nice. Wow, 100 plus while dropping here. This is amazing. <laughs> the game is very sharp right now, and it's looking like native 1440p, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, we're inside, by the way. Sometimes you will see less FPS inside of areas like this one. And I remember reloading my gun here caused the FPS has to drop by a lot and it's still the case as you can see if i reload fps drop by like 10 it's so weird this game is full of little performance uh, issues like that you know it's pretty annoying and it annoys me that they don't really fix it what the hell i just wanted to see the fps from that building you know looking at the entire city but i think this works too right uh, somebody what somebody shooting at me okay i'll look at our previous killer he's right there can I get him, by the way? Wait a second. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, get wrecked, dude. I'm gonna get you, boy. Not sure if it's DLSS, but there's still that little issue with these boxes and loot. It's very weird. It's always been there in, in Call of Duty. We're driving through the downtown roads, and it's good to see, by the way, that the FPS don't drop much while looking at that building, which is very broken in other cards, at least. Um, no, no, don't do this to me, please, people. I'm just, I'm just honking and benchmarking here. That's all I do in this game. I'm not a threat. No, I... Uh... <laughs> I'm just dropping here and I already got shot and I'm 1 HP. Oh my goodness. These people are insane. We're now playing Cyberbug 2077 at 1440p resolution using the ray tracing medium preset without motion blur. And over on the DLSS settings, I think I will use balanced because it still looked pretty good to me. So with ray tracing enabled, the lighting looks really good in this game. It also looks great on ultra settings without ray tracing, but I'm still not sure. I have to actually try this game out on the RTX 3060 Ti with ray tracing and without ray tracing in a separate video, you know, testing all of the resolutions, all of the settings and stuff to make my mind about it. But some of the reflections are really, really nice here using these settings and the lighting is just incredible, guys. It looks pretty damn good. Actually, I'm quite curious. I'm not sure if it's a major difference or not. Let's stop it there. Take a look at this scene right here and I'm gonna disable ray tracing. You know what? It also looks really good like this. <laughs> I'll have to check side by side, but look at those FPS right now, guys. Anyway, back to ray tracing. If you're buying a GPU like this one, um, specifically for the ray tracing performance, I'm actually quite surprised that it runs this well. Of course, it's with DLSS enabled, but you, I, I feel like you really gotta use that, uh, especially with the 3060 Ti, if you plan on playing Cyberbug with ray tracing. Maybe I would play like this. I'm not sure. Uh, the 60 FPS is pretty important to me as well, so... 
Yeah, uh, maybe I drop it down to like high with ray tracing and the balanced DLSS preset. But still, if you don't mind around 50 FPS on average, this is actually quite nice. Let's visit the beautiful Jack, shall we? <laughs> this is of course GTA 5 and we're playing at 4K resolution this time around using very high settings as you can see. Here we go. Oh my goodness, Th that's just insane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, this looks so sharp and so beautiful. Okay, of course it's not maxed out settings, but I really feel like these provide a good balance between great visuals and great performance. So I recommend them, okay? I really recommend them. Gotta love GTA 5, guys. This is an older title from 2015, released in that year on PC, earlier on consoles. Uh, but it, it runs amazing. It's really, really well optimized. Uh, even hardware like the GT710 can run it at like 720p normal settings, so it's pretty good, you know? And to be seeing 100 FPS on average almost at 4K resolution, right now it hit 100 FPS average. It's just insane! Get out, people, get out, people, okay. We managed to only hit like a, a single person, I guess. I'm just curious to see how it will handle Jack's Hill because vegetation is an FPS killer in this game. And yeah, yeah it is, Michael, it definitely is. This is still above 60. If you want to connect your PC to your TV or something, if you, even if you don't have a 4K monitor, it's gonna be amazing. Hello, Jack! How's it going? Nice to be here. Very crispy, right? I know it, boy. The only bad thing is the GPU temperatures are not hitting 69 degrees Celsius, and I'd love to see that. But anyways, guys, look at those frames. Even inside of these demanding bushes, it's performing incredibly well. Have you ever wondered how PUBG would run at 7p on an RTX 3060 Ti? Well, this is it. 300 FPS. <laughs> Okay, let's play with decent settings now. 2560 by 1440 using ultra settings, 100% render scale. And well, it is still super smooth. Look at this. Oh. Now, forest areas will be more taxing on the GPU. That's why I dropped here and it's dropping down into the low 100s, but it's still super smooth, super playable, obviously. I like this map. The colors are beautiful compared to the other ones. Uh, Couple of stutters still, that those will be there forever in PUBG. Over here, FPS are higher, as I told you, the vegetation makes it drop by quite a bit, and it's now well above 144 frames per second, so this is, this is actually really nice. That looked like a guy to me. Okay, let's do the smoke test. This is probably the most intensive thing that will come across in PUBG. The longer you stay inside of a smoke, the more your FPS will drop. Mid-70s, will it drop into the 60s? Probably, right? Yep, 69 there. I'm fine with the 69 as a minimum, you know? I'm hearing somebody, actually. Oh, wait a second, it's still dropping. <laughs> Lower 60s is the minimum. Come over here, boy! Come over here! <laughs> This is CSGO now, we're playing at 1440p using low settings because it's a competitive game, four times MSAA and high textures. And let's get wrecked some noobs, shall we? There we go. Flicks and stuff and stutters and yeah, that's just beautiful. Yeah, that's the nature of CSGO. Too many there. Try to hit these flicks, guys. Oh, missed that one. There we go. And we are actually CPU bound in CSGO. It's so light on the GPU that the CPU actually becomes the bottleneck here. Ah, oh, come on, that was my kill, buddy. No, 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 how did I miss that? I feel like I play better with lower end GPUs sometimes for some reason. It's weird. What the? Stop camping in corners, you guys. It's deathmatch. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, missed. AFK guys help too. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> really like this spot. I don't want to camp, but <laughs> I mean, it works, right? <laughs> the guy said lol in the chat. Is there another league? Yes, senor, my amigo. Excuse me, but... Oh! <laughs> we actually did that. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> Let's get this noob here. You camping bastard. Up, 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 up. Okay, <laughs> that works. There's another one. All right, got him. Uh, all good. Oh, there's one. There's one there. 
What the hell is happening? Days gone. We're playing at 1440p using the very high settings with no motion blur. And the game is looking fantastic, guys. Look at these graphics. It's beautiful. And also, look at those FPS. It's pretty damn good, right? Frame time could be a little bit smoother, to be honest. There are a couple of frame time spikes there but you know what overall it's a smooth experience obviously as expected <laughs> what am i what am i hearing oh what what oh 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 no 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 i don't want this okay let's move away from here yeah those stutters though i wonder if it's because this game runs on the same engine as PUBG and fortnite and stuff and they all stutter for some reason I don't know. We are arriving at the demanding area here. It's Copeland's camp and it's actually uh, pretty good still. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Everybody expected this at this point, I guess. It's very weird that sometimes this game has those weird frame time spikes and other times it's completely smooth. Um, I've noticed that with a lot of GPUs so far. 95 FPS on average is just insane. Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition. We're playing this one at 1440p with extreme settings and some ray tracing on normal, DLSS on quality, hybrid reflections, so they're not full ray tracing and uh, yeah this is it let's see how it performs I'm gonna start counting the frames here all right looking beautiful what the hell is happening though uh, uh, I can't I don't see anybody <laughs> am I blind or what DLSS seems to be doing a really nice job in this game not sure about ray tracing I thought I'd enable that just to see how it will do you can see some ray tracing here the lighting is actually pretty good in this area right here Oh, so the hybrid reflections. Oh, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> it's uh, Rupert, right? But yeah, as you can see, the reflection of the castle disappears as soon as the castle is off screen. So it's not really ray trace, at least these reflections here. Hello? Hello there, kind sir. How's it going? How's life going for all of you? You do understand that you are quite bad people that need to be put down because you're, you're doing bad things, you know? Metro Exodus is quite playable. It looks amazing with the LSS on quality and ray tracing on normal. Uh, not everything is ray traced, but I don't think it needs to be. It already looks great like this. What the hell did I do? <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege. We're playing this one at 1440p using the ultra settings. And the LSS is also set to quality. I didn't even know that this game had the LSS. Are you guys hearing me? What, what the hell? Was that was there like a, 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 a bird here? What, what I, I'm so confused right now. Anyway, guys, if you have a 240Hz 1440p monitor lying around, you can grab an RTX 3060 Ti. Well, if it's in stock, of course. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, oh, how did that miss? <laughs> I love this game's performance, guys. It looks great. And this is this is 300 FPS. Like, it's completely insane. Oh, look! Ray tracing! <laughs> Alright, we won. I didn't do anything at all. I just um, walked through the map. I guess that's, that's a decent benchmark, isn't it? <laughs> 293 FPS average. 1% lows of 257. Wow. And also, DLSS is doing a really good job in this game. Looks great. It looks like native 1440p resolution. Um, oh, fire effect. I'm just gonna go for it. The other team is, is dying anyway, so... Oh, look. It's them. <laughs> And over here, boy. There we go. We got one. <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege is super consistent when it comes to the frames that you can get. Uh, oh, hi. <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn. We're playing this one at the 1440p resolution using ultra settings and no motion blur. This seems to be a lot more intensive than the other games that we tested so far. As you can see, it's kind of like Red Dead Redemption 2, I guess. Getting FPS in the 60s, close to 70 there. Yep, not too bad. Let's uh, walk around this little town, which is pretty intensive. It does allow for a 60 plus FPS experience most of the time, though. Looking in this direction, we're getting still like around that beautiful magic number, you know. <laughs> Game's looking gorgeous, that's for sure. For a PS4 title, guys, they did a really good job. Oh wow, you're sitting on an actual stone today, not in in the air. What about you? Oh, the yeah, of course. I want to fight you and die horribly like I always do. Oh my goodness, the two of them at the same time. Okay, 
All right, let's hit them with this thing. Yeah, boy. All right, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die so quickly and so bad. Oh, boy. It's actually pretty good. As you can see, it didn't really drop, did it? I'm not sure, actually, but... Whew, I'm dead. And this is Forza Horizon 4. We're playing at 1440p using the extreme settings, as you can see. This game is super well optimized as well, so it's to be expected that it runs this well. Like, 150. That's just crazy, you know? What I found to be intensive in this game was running over these bushes here in the middle of nowhere. As you can see, it dropped it into the 30s. Still pretty playable and smooth, obviously. Like, look at that. I mean, this is awesome. <laughs> and we are in the festival area, still getting 140s, guys. 130s and 140s, 120s there with the smoke effects. This is crazy. Here we go. Cuts in time. It's usually really intensive, that thing there at the start. And then it shoots back up to 130s. It's a high refresh rate experience or a competitive experience, if, you, if you'd like. Um, and, and you're still getting that extreme settings preset goodness you know the visuals are amazing like this this game is super well optimized i love it oh by the way forza horizon 5 is coming this year i will definitely take a look at that with the 3060 ti when that comes out so stay tuned in and if you're watching this in the future maybe go search for that video because um, yeah, it will happen. And the same goes for Battlefield 2042. This is, of course, Battlefield 5, uh, because, well, the newer one hasn't released yet. We're playing at 1440p resolution using ultra settings. Well, I don't know. Oh, no, no, I disagree completely. Uh, one down. Here we go, guys. Okay, Jesus. No, 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 no. All right, wait a second. No, not from behind you. Bastard. Okay, no, 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 no. All right, I, I'll leave. I'll leave if you if you must do this, okay? All right, let's go. Let's explode that thing so they don't uh, get it. All right, there we go. All good, all good. There's one. There we go. Is that it? Oh, anybody else? Anybody else? What the? <laughs> Also, notice that we are not utilizing ray tracing here in Battlefield 1. That's because I really don't think you should use it in competitive shooters or first-person shooters like Battlefield 5, Warzone and stuff like that. If you're interested in ray tracing in this game, I will still benchmark this card separately in Battlefield 5 with more resolutions and settings and RT. But uh, yeah, not here. I, I really think this is the experience you should aim for if you're playing BF5 with a gpu like the 3080 not 3080 yeah <laughs> i wish <laughs> we're playing fortnite right now at the 2560 by 1440 resolution using epic settings directx 12 and quality dlss ray tracing is turned off and i usually say that fortnite is completely broken and full of stuttering issues i'm not sure today they might have fixed it because it's performing super smoothly. I've seen like a couple of stutters already while dropping, but nothing major. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want to go to that alien thingy. No, 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 I don't. Come on, I'm inside of the house. We got a, we got a floating pencil. And now we're just here fighting people with gravity guns in what looks like an... an Atlantida map or whatever, but in space or in a spacecraft. I, I just don't understand anything about Fortnite these days, guys. It's just so weird. <laughs> Back to the whipping woods with all of these trees around us, which are intensive, and we're getting 110s, 120s. It's still super smooth, super playable. I mean, the, the sweaty people of Fortnite will play it on low settings anyways, and even competitive settings with the performance mode. But still, if you want to enjoy some beautiful graphics, because they are actually beautiful. I like the art style and the um, the lighting and stuff. It, it looks great to me, at least. Yeah, you can have that absolutely fine with a 3060 Ti. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're playing it at 1440p resolution, 100% render scaling, using the ultra-high settings with low anti-aliasing, and these two are turned off, motion blur and depth of field. And as you can see, guys, this is an extremely intensive title, uh, but the 3060 Ti can still handle it like a champ. 
However, it will drop below 60 a couple of times here and there. So if you want a 60 plus experience all of the time, you'll probably want to play this one on high instead of ultra high. This is also a very demanding area, you know, this shore right here. It, it just drops massively for some reason. I don't understand why, but yeah, it's how this game performs right now. Um, as you can see, if we progress into the village, we are getting 60 plus right now, so that's absolutely fine. And uh, as you'll see in just a little bit, it will also get 60 plus outside of here. So it's only by that shore area that it drops, unfortunately, and look in that direction as well. And look who it is, guys. It's Roach again. Beautiful boy right there. I was thinking Thinking that the 3060 Ti would be faster in Assassin's Creed Valhalla than it actually is. Um, 69 FPS average, that's just beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, since this is a DirectX 12 title, I expected it to be much, much faster than the 1080 Ti. Not a little bit faster, you know? Still, pretty smooth and playable. 1440p resolution at ultra high looks great. And finally, for the last game, we got Valorant. We're playing this one using the highest settings, aside for the UI quality setting, which doesn't really do much. Uh, four times MSAA and TA leasing at 1440p resolution. Okay, so Valorant is one of those games Games like CSGO for example where you're likely gonna be CPU bound because it's so easy to run on the GPU uh, these days it's kind of broken at least in lower end hardware oh hello there hello <laughs> night, night. what the hell are you doing there just camping around all right there we go another one but yeah guys as you can see the GPU utilization is not maxed out at all oh god another one <laughs> this game actually used to run at like 500 fps with my gtx titan x and 1660 ti and stuff like that and now it gets massively cpu bound even with a 5900x so it's kind of weird Ten kills remaining. Oh, 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 10 remaining guys we got this <laughs> why do i keep switching to the knife Remaining. Ooh, oh, not from behind. I don't think we're gonna win this one because I can't really one see people. Remaining. Yep, okay, so the other guy's getting really lucky. Ah, oh, my goodness. All right, come on. Oh, oh, oh I won. <laughs> okay, never mind. And it is conclusion time. Do I recommend the RTX 3060 Ti? Um, in, in 2021. Well guys, in a perfect world, if you could find one of these for near MSRP prices, like 400 to 500 dollars maximum, maybe 550, I would actually recommend it because you can play everything with it. You get the DLSS support, which is great. You get ray tracing on top of that. It's just a really solid card that plays everything at 1440p ultra settings. And I really enjoyed my time with it. The problem is, is the world is far from perfect these days, my friends. So, yeah, you can actually find these uh, here in Portugal at least for 630 euros brand new. That's that's not too bad considering that it's brand new, but I, I think I wouldn't recommend it at those prices, guys. But yeah, considering that it has slightly better performance than the previous generation RTX 2080 Super, well, 500 doesn't look too bad for it at least these days, okay? I also checked eBay, and at the time of recording this video, it's selling for 650 to 1,000 plus dollars, which is just crazy and insane, and nobody should pay those prices for a 3060 Ti. Anyway, let's just hope that the current situation improves, and that in the near future, we can buy something like this for near MSRP prices, because it's a heck of a buy at $400. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, I love you all. Bye bye